I've read over 50 books about finance on everything from technical analysis to trading psychology, and here is the truth. 95% of books are completely useless when it comes to actually making money in the markets. I'm about to save you from wasting thousands of hours like I did by reading books that would never help me make money. I'm not saying that all of the books that I've ever read were terrible or that they weren't interesting, but they did not help me get rich. So these are the seven books that will actually make you rich from trading. The first thing you need to understand is that the type of books that you're going to read in order to change how you feel when you trade are going to be different than the type of books that teach you how to be someone who can actually be a successful trader. And then there will be the books that will teach you how to think like a trader. So I decided to split the books into three categories. Most of you who already trade are so close to getting rich and the only thing standing in your way is your own emotional impulses. You can get into books like Meditations, which will change your entire life from trading to relationships and everything in between, but we're going to get into that later in the video. Our first book saved me in the early days of my trading, and I didn't even realize it at the time. I remember way back in my early days as a trader, I cared so deeply about success. I was so focused on doing everything that I could in order to win at this game. I watched videos, I bought courses. I mean, I did everything that you could think of, but I still was losing. And when I lost, it hurt. Not only did I need the money, but I was so upset and angry that I lost. And even whenever it didn't break the bank, I just still hated losing so much. And coincidentally, around this time, I read the first book on our list, which is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F by Mark Manson. This is one of the most important books that anyone who is growing up in today's day and age can read, especially if you want to become a trader. Our culture and social media have you chasing the wrong things in the pursuit of happiness. I mean, we are constantly caring about so much that doesn't even matter in the long run. Seeing traders only post wins on Twitter or Instagram leads new traders to think that successful trading is all about winning. So when you think that losing trades are bad, it makes it feel that much worse. You do everything in your power to avoid these god awful losses, whether it's closing your trade early after anxiously watching TradingView for hours or Maybe you just didn't even execute at all because you were afraid that it may not be a good trade. You are addicted to phoniness and you're constantly pursuing this fantasy of perfect trading and you end up frustrated and feel like you're falling short in comparison to other traders. And this book is going to help you clarify what is really important and what isn't so you don't waste your mental energy worrying about what doesn't matter. After reading it, you will be amazed to realize how impactful it can be and you'll be able to see your path to success so much clearer. Most of all, it helps you accept that pain is inevitable and it shows you how to use it as a catalyst for your improvement. Our second book breaks down the most important part of trading and no, it is not ICT. You need to stop living in this fantasy world where you're trading Trading strategy makes you a good trader because it is destroying your hopes of ever being successful. But instead, you need to follow the three steps laid out in emotional intelligence in order to master the common trait of all successful traders. Many cultures, and especially Western ones, gauge your probability of success by your intelligence. They've even developed tests to measure this, resulting in what we know as IQ test. Now, it is reasonable to think that just because somebody has a high IQ score that they're going to be a good trader, but trust me, this is not the case. In emotional intelligence, Daniel Goleman explains how IQ you only accounts for about 20% of your success, while emotional intelligence, among other factors, make up the rest. Now, the bad news is IQ is fixed and we cannot change it. However, emotional intelligence is learned throughout our entire lives. It's why we have people who are geniuses work for multi-millionaires who have no idea how to do a fraction of the tasks that their employees do. You see, we have two minds, a thinking one and a feeling one. In emotional intelligence, you learn how to fully understand your emotions and why they occur and how to manage them more effectively, and also it teaches you how to use them to motivate yourself. Overall, it just shows you how to be more mentally resourceful and break down these heavy feelings and become a top performing human that you can really do anything you put your mind to once you get your emotions in check. Now, as we wrap up the first section, which are the books that are going to change the way you feel, I want to quickly reinforce that how you feel directly affects your success as a trader. Trading strategies will differ in value from person to person. If you give a 10 year old veteran trader a strategy and compare the results to a 16 year old beginner trader, I guarantee that you're going to get different results, regardless of the fact that they are trading the same strategy. If you think that you are going to be an average person and beat the odds, you are a fool. Over 90% of traders lose money in the market, so who are you to think that you can be among the 5% of traders who win unless you are a high level person? Now, if we know that most people fail, we have to be the opposite of most people. Most people are absorbed by the superficial and distorted reality that social media has created, and most people have no foundation to their beliefs, and they're swayed easily as seeing a post on Instagram. So as we move into the next category, I'm about to share information that will separate you from the herd by building a strong mind that you need to succeed as a trader. As we navigate the modern world, 
it is so easy to get lost, to get pulled into mediocrity by the endless distractions, and to become just a part of the statistics or part of the rat race. So many people are neck deep in student loan debt just to work some job that they hate for the rest of their life and maybe get lucky and retire later. But that is not why you're here. You are here because you have drive and ambition and you want to be a part of the 5% of traders who escape the rat race and live on their own terms. How do we separate ourselves from the rest? And how do we break free from the shackles of being ordinary and set ourselves on track to getting rich from trading? Well, it starts with a foundation. It starts with knowledge. It starts with skills that are time tested and proven to give you an edge. And that is precisely where this information comes into play. Look, this isn't just a book. It is a blueprint that sets you apart from everybody else. And I challenge you to challenge your preconceptions and reshape your perspective because we're not here to just be average or to read some technical analysis book. We're here to be exceptional. So I'm really excited to share this book with you because it has impacted my life more than any other single book. It gave me the outlook that I have on life, which I directly owe my success to. This book has infinite value and it should be read while taking notes over and over again throughout your entire life. We're going to focus on the main two benefits that it has for traders in today's video just to stay on topic, but I highly consider reading the book because it will help you just think better, live better, and overall just be better. The book is Meditations, which is by the late Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. The book is a collection of his journal entries that he never thought anyone would see, which gives it so much value because it's raw and it's real, and these are lessons that he learned while being the most powerful man in the world at that time. Many scholars throughout history consider meditations to be the definitive book on stoicism, which is a philosophy that originated in ancient Greece, and its key focus is that rational thinking can guide you through any hardship and allow you to endure any pain. Again, it covers endless topics, but there are two main key takeaways from this book that I've put together just for traders. The first main takeaway is to see things exactly as they are. For example, a feast laid before you is nothing but dead plants and animals. That is an example they use in the book. But we have to look at this in the sense that a winning trade is nothing but a normal and minuscule part of your career, just as a losing one is. Your observations, which directly influence your emotions, must be reasonable and accurate and not based on the initial reaction or feeling that you get. Furthermore, you need to understand each experience, what its purpose is and how you should deal with it, or if it's even essential enough to deal with. Finally, you must know what caused the situation. For example, is a loss a normal loss or is an emotional string of losses caused by stress or was the win you got a lucky win that you got by over-risking? Meditations taught me that before we should respond to any situation, we should be certain that we understand it clearly. And this sounds simple, but trust me, I guarantee there's a lot of stuff that you're overlooking. You should always proceed with logic and not emotion. Now, the second major benefit that this book provides is its perspective on pain. Many traders make bad decisions. In fact, most of you listening to this could probably be profitable if you would get rid of just half of the bad trades that you take. Just think if you were able to go back in time and erase even half of the senseless losses that you've taken. Not the valid losses that are a part of any strategy, but the ones that you took because you strayed away from your plan. And let's be honest, we know what I'm talking about. Well, the reason that you make those bad decisions can be simplified into one simple thing that is really easy to fix once you understand it. Whether you take trades outside your strategy because you're afraid to sit on your hands, or you move your stop to entry too fast because you're afraid to lose, or you cut your trade before it hits TP because you're afraid that it will turn around on you, you're making the same exact mistake every time. Let me ask you one thing. How many losses do you think that you will take in your trading career? I'm assuming that you are a serious trader, and if you're here right now spending time to perfect your craft, I would venture to say that most of you will be trading for years to come. This means that you will take hundreds, if not thousands of losses in your careers, even if you are profitable. Yet you are afraid to take a single one because of the pain that it can cause you right now. Later on in this video, we're gonna discuss a book that will solve the root of this problem, which is your perspective, but the fact of the matter is that pain is nothing if you really wanna be a trader. If one single loss is causing you so much fear that it causes you to stray away from your plan, then your mind has associated losing and trading as painful or bad, which is just not how trading works, right? We're gonna take losses. I mean, a good win rate is around 60 to 70% for most people. That means that you're losing quite a bit. I mean, think of it this way. If you were driving and using a GPS, would you just start going off onto some random road away from your destination without a good reason? Well, that's what you're doing when you stray away from your plan. If you're doing this, it means that you view losses as painful and you don't know how to deal with pain. 
And in meditations, Marcus Aurelius teaches you that you can endure any long-term pain, whether it's physical or emotional. If something damages the body, then your body is to worry about it. It cannot hurt your mind unless you allow it. If you don't feel hurt, then you haven't been hurt. The market is not hurting you when you take losses. It is your mind allowing you to feel hurt because of the way you look at losing. Now, let me be very clear that fear, anger, and regret are more harmful to your trading than any single loss ever could be. The biggest aha moment in the world of trading psychology and quite frankly in life is that it's not what happens that upsets you, but your own perception of it instead. So from here on out, I want you to look at it as an opportunity every time that you feel fear when you're trading because it is a chance to take what I'm teaching you right now and what you're gonna learn in this book into real world situations and take action because just like trading strategies that you watch on YouTube, all the stuff that you read in this book or hear from me sounds great, but it's completely pointless if you're just a dreamer and don't take action. Speaking about taking action, we are now going to transition into books directly written about trading. If you've made it this far, then you have a greater attention span than most people, so you're already ahead of the game. And the reason that I wanted to speak about these other books first is because after mentoring so many traders to success and trading for seven years, I can tell you with full confidence that none of this matters at all if you don't have a proper mindset. You have to become the version of yourself that can succeed at trading before any information about trading will ever benefit you at all. You can watch whatever you want about trading, videos, courses, you name it. All of it will be completely useless if you don't have mental and emotional capacity to implement it. There is no holy grail strategy, but there is a holy grail mindset. And the sooner that you accept this and dedicate yourself to achieving it, the sooner that you'll become rich from trading. This is why in my mentorship, I don't just give you some strategy and hope that you win. I track your habits, I review every single trade you take, and I hold you accountable to do what it takes to be successful in and outside of the market. This is why so many of the students that I had have seen success in less than a month, and most of the time, it was some easy fix that they just had to eradicate one or two bad habits. They just needed an extra push and guidance. So if you've ever been watching my videos or this video and think, I wish I could just have this guy next to me while I'm trading so I could ask him questions or have him review my trades and fix what I'm doing wrong, then click the link down in the description to apply for my mentorship. Without further ado, let's begin on our trading books. The first book is a fairly newer book that I read recently, and it's one of my all-time favorites to do with trading. The book is named The Best Loser Wins, and it is written by Tom Hugard. Tom Hugard is the winner of multiple trading competitions, and on one occasion, he traded the equivalent of $30,000 into more than $1.3 million in over the course of a single year. So he definitely knows what it takes to be successful in trading. The Best Loser Wins by Tom Hugard is more of a philosophy of trading than it is a normal trading book. It helps you view losses as stepping stones rather than setbacks, and it urges a shift from emotional to rational perception of each trade as mere fragments of a larger trading journey. The first key takeaway from the book is the importance of maintaining a balanced mental disposition towards losses. It talks about how to approach each win or loss as a small part of your career as a trader, which is key to benefiting from the lessons that the market is teaching you. If you're emotional and you look at every trade as if your whole career dependent on it, you're going to be blinded by all the lessons that the market is teaching you. The second lesson goes into the concept of risk management, but instead of just focusing on your account balance, it talks about your mental equity as well. The book says that exceptional trading results stem from not technical analysis, but from a profound understanding of the market's psychological impact. And this helps you reshape your conventional thinking into how one should think as a trader. The way that Tom wrote the book, it makes it feel like it's more of some extremely long message from a mentor rather than just a regular book. It helps cultivate a mindset that is grateful for challenges and it learns from adversities and sees opportunities in every single loss. And this book is a prime example of how traders must learn a new perspective that is completely different than what most of society has raised them to believe. The next book I wanna talk about is The Mental Game of Trading by my good friend, Jared Tendler. And Jared holds live masterclasses regularly in my mentorship. And he's a licensed psychologist who coaches high-level traders, poker players, and business executives. And what he focuses on is helping them stay on their mental A game. This book focuses on the psychological arena where most battles are won or lost for traders. And its value is so dense that I recommend a reread, note-taking, and just continually reading it throughout your career. Jared also has worksheets on his website that I'll link in the description that will help you with the lessons learned in the book which is super cool, but one thing that I really like about Jared and his approach is how pragmatic he is. He gives clear cut and actionable steps on how to overcome common trading mistakes like chasing price or over trading or any of the other mistakes that you make. And unlike other narratives in trading psychology books that 
just give you open-ended solutions. Jared actually gives real problems with real solutions. This book has a structured step-by-step -step system that is gonna unearth and eliminate all the psychological root causes of why you don't make money as a trader. And it's not just about identifying the problems, but again, giving these actionable solutions, which is what makes this book so valuable. Now, the next and final book that I'll discuss with you is one that I'm sure that you've heard of in the past, and is the famous Trading in the Zone by the late and great Mark Douglas. Before you get started, I wanna ask you something. Why do some people see success as traders when most people fail? I mean, do the few traders who win just have the best strategies? Or do they just get lucky? Well, in this book, you will realize that there is only one factor that distinguishes successful traders from failures, and it is simply a proper perspective and a winning mindset. This is why you see traders from all different schools of thought being successful, and at Newsflash, no, ICT is not the only way to trade. There are people that trade bull flags, people that trade harmonics, there are people that trade every different strategy that make tons of money, and more money than most ICT traders make. And it just goes to show that it's not about your trading strategy. Mark Douglas was a trading consultant for 20 years, and along Along the way, he learned many lessons from the different traders that he worked with. And I can attest to this because after teaching and working with so many people, I can tell you that it makes you a better trader because learning is all about perspective, right? And I get so many different perspectives from all the awesome people that I work with that it helps me become better as well. In Trading in the Zone, Mark explains that when you're trading, you often embody a fearful mindset based on avoiding risk or losses without even realizing that you're doing it or you think what you're doing is responsible. And this prevents you from being objective, which means that no matter how much time you spend studying or watching ICT, you will fail to become a winner. In Trading in the Zone, Douglas goes over the three key takeaways to becoming successful as a trader and having a winning mindset. Takeaway number one is that you must understand probabilities in full. The markets give us tons of opportunities to make money, but somehow most traders still struggle to make money consistently. And the problem is not your strategy or the market, but it's the fact that you don't understand how the market works. It doesn't matter if you trade fundamentals, ICT, support and resistance, the fact remains that if you do not understand how to think in probabilities, you will be vulnerable to fear and fear will sabotage your trading. Look, nearly all trading mistakes that, that traders make is based on fear. From fear of missing out, to fear of taking a loss, to fear of a winning trade turning around on you, every problem in trading is based on fear. You have to accept that no matter how good your strategy is, outcomes are always random. And fully understanding this and accepting this logic is key in overcoming the mental barriers that will cause you to make all the mistakes that you do as a trader. And of course, yes, you have to have a good trading strategy. I understand that, right? Everybody talks about trading psychology. And I think that some traders that are newer, they hear that it matters more than your strategy and they just wanna watch trading psychology videos or read books and think it's gonna make them successful. And it's not, newsflash, you do need a good strategy. But no strategy will be a good strategy without a proper mindset. Strategies are the easiest part of trading. It's just simply spotting patterns on a screen. I mean, you could literally train a monkey or a child to do this. People that stay hopping from strategy to strategy and they allow these losses to have them lose faith in what they were doing before. These are the kind of people who end up just blowing challenges and are just a gambler and they just push buttons and they're, they're really just an addict. And if this sounds like you, then you need to stop thinking that acquiring new information or watching more videos or some fancy new ICT PD array or term is gonna ever help you because it's not. You are ignoring the true problem and that is your flawed psychology and addictive mindset. The second key takeaway from trading in the zone is that we must embrace risk. Now what this really means is that you fully accept the possible outcomes of your trade when you place it without any kind of fear or regret even if that means that it is a loss, right? You have to accept that the loss is possible as soon as you enter the trade. 95% of your errors begun with fear. And in order to eliminate these mistakes, you have to free yourself from fear and anger and bitterness to the market no matter what happens. It's like if you stub your toe on a rock, are you mad at the rock? Obviously not, right? You have to realize that these fears are irrational and they stem from unrealistic goals and expectations that you have from the market. This is why I say the worst thing is setting a daily profit goal or even setting a goal to get rich in a certain amount of time or to impress your friends or setting a goal to, to make trading something that can feed your family when you're unprofitable. Because if you're motivated by these goals, your brain will interpret the market differently, right? Since being right will give you your goals, this is going to cause you a flawed perspective, right? You're gonna overthink things. You're gonna try to avoid losses when this is just completely the opposite of how trading works. Because again, no outcome is guaranteed. If you tie your happiness or your status to your trading, then you're gonna view any loss as a threat and this is gonna cause you to lose even more. And the third and final lesson that I'm going to discuss is how to become a confident and consistent winner. 
Now we've talked about how to embrace risk and how to understand probabilities, but how do you actually implement this in order to become a successful trader? Douglas said that you need three critical ingredients and number one is a clear cut goal. You need to decide with absolute certainty that what you desire more than anything else is to win consistently, right? Not the outcomes or the benefits that these wins will give you or the dollar amounts, but just trading effectively and consistently in itself. If you set the goal just to trade well and win more than you lose, then you will understand that losses are inevitable and they won't hurt your mental as much. This is what the book is all about. And this is what we call getting into a flow state or trading in the zone. Similar to professional athletes, you must be fully present with the game itself and not be worried about what happens outside of it. Now ingredient number two is to build a system of rules and boundaries for making trades. Be understanding and very clear on what it takes for you to make a decision. This can be requiring a liquidity raid with a market structure shift and a fair value gap or any other combination of analysis and confluences that you've proven work over time. The more simple and precise that your system is, the better, and the more able you are to make more objective decisions. Now, ingredient number three is a strong self-discipline that's gonna allow you to fully integrate the beliefs and behaviors of a successful trader into your own. You have to understand that eliminating risk is impossible, right? Every outcome is random and you will never be able to know anything 100%, no matter how good you get at trading. But it's okay because all your job is as a trader is to find an edge that plays out over time. Again, a solid strategy strategy is needed to have an edge. And if you need help finding one, then you can use the strategy that myself and dozens of my students have used to get funded and generate payouts on a consistent basis. I took what has worked for me over the last seven years and I simplified it into a step-by-step -step system that has been proven over time and that is very easy to spot and easy to execute. And it just takes the guesswork out of trading. If you wanna learn this strategy and work directly with me, having me review your trades and pinpoint exactly what you need to change in order to become a successful trader, I want you to click the link down in the description to sign up for a free strategy session where I'll give you a customized plan on how to get from where you are now to becoming a consistently profitable trader. So if this video is helpful to you guys, please subscribe, like the video, comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.